Let's do this, all right? No. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> um, one thing I want I want to go through on a couple of these problems is I'm going to show you a way to simplify radicals, all right, by using factor. So, the one thing I want you guys to understand, and what well, I'm going to go through this, and I'm just going to see if you agree, all right? If there's a point, Chris, that you don't agree, you guys can let me know, all right? So, we can say the square root of 4. First of all, let's just kind of take a look at this. Um, Remember, if I say square something, if I say 2 squared, that means 2 times 2, right? Yes. That means you're going to multiply a number by itself twice, right? You're going to take the number and multiply by itself twice. That's what square means. So the square root means what number multiplied by itself equals 4? And the obvious answer for this problem is 2. Okay? Now, I'm going to manipulate this a couple different ways and to see if you guys still agree with me. Could we now say they say that, sorry, 2 squared equal, or I'm sorry, square root of 2 squared is still going to equal 2 because 2 squared equals 4. Would everybody agree with that? Yeah. Indeed. Indeed? Okay. We agree with that? Yeah. Could we also write it like this? The square root of 2 times 2 equals 4. Would everybody agree? Obviously, that doesn't equal 4. That equals 2. 2 times 2, the square root of 2 times 2 equals 2. Why is that? Well, 2 times 2 is 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. Everybody agree with me still? Yes. Okay. How about this? Square root of 2 times the square root of 2 equals still 2. Well, square root of 2 times square root of 2, all right, is still going to equal the square root of um, 2 times 2. Now, actually, I'm going a little bit farther for this video because all I really want to focus is on getting it to factor. So what we're going to do when we're simplifying, what we're going to want to do, hold on, hold on, we're going to want to take out the numbers, all right? Just sit down. You're not in any rush, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the numbers that we can make a pair out of because when we have a pair, we can take them out of a square root. So I'm going to take the number 40 and I'm going to break this down. I can factor this to an 8 times 5. 8, I can break down into a 4 times 2. And 4, I can break down into a 2 times 2. So therefore, the factored version of this is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. All right? And this is still all under my radical, which I'll just kind of rewrite here. Well, remember, guys, 2 times 2, anytime you have a pair of a number multiplied by itself, just equals that number. Well, we have one of those pairs right here. So I can take that out of my square root and put it now on the outside because the square root of 2 times 2 equals 2. Therefore, my final answer is 2 times the square root of 2 times 5, which is still left over there, which is 10. And that's how I said left. Don't walk across the front, please. There you go.